Hi, I'm Scott Goldfein, Editor-in-Chief and Associate Publisher of Security Sales and Integration. I'm delighted to have with me today Sean Murphy, Manager of Vertical Markets Development for Bosch Security and Safety Systems. He's going to speak to our topic of key video surveillance trends for security integrators. Sean, thank you for joining me. How are you? Scott, I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. I'm glad you could carve out this time today uh, to have a little fun talking video. <laughs> yeah, it's a new one in our, our fun times of COVID. <laughs> Let's jump right in with the first one, uh, Sean. Uh, what do you see as you know one or two of the most exciting video surveillance opportunities for integrators today, just from a general sense? Sure. You know, video over probably the last five-ish years has um, been rapidly changing, right? Uh, we've come to the point now where we've been chasing a lot of resolution and image quality to the point to where I think most um, vendors today offer a, a fairly attractive camera, just like your basic security camera. So for installers and integrators, the challenge isn't really necessarily trying to find that specific camera. Um, there's always corner cases, but for the general market, it's readily available. It's the how do we now go the step beyond and try to really solve interesting application problems for the customer, right? You know, doing new things that they haven't done before or uh, gaining efficiencies where, you know, they've had problems and it's just kind of been taken for granted. That's just how video is. And so they're trying to solve those better problems and making themselves more useful for the customers. Mm -hmm. And what do you see as some keys for success that you could recommend to integrators in that space? I really do think that the, the key to success is really trying to jump out there on the, that leading edge of education, right? We do have a time where we're at COVID, where there, um, even though this is for uh, most places in the world, kind of considered to be essential, security is essential. Uh, so there's still work to be done, but I, I do think there is some downtime. And then, you know, utilizing that downtime to educate yourself on what's coming out and what you can take advantage of, how you can make yourself more valuable to the end user, really, I think will be the most attractive space. Uh, Bosch, kind of in that same vein and had started long before COVID, uh, we were really going down the track of how do we use video as a sensor and kind of collect that data that comes away from that and, and use that for something else. Um, and we were planning for ISC West this year for a, a launch to kind of make known our Intiox platform. Um, Intiox is a, a new camera platform that allows um, specific apps to be run on the camera in a safe manner, right? So there's this kind of sandbox that we've created within the software and hardware um, of the camera where there, there is a very, very limited risk or, or, or best we can say no risk, right? To any interference with the typical camera operations, but now you have the space where you can install um, either a selection of apps that are available through the, the SNST stores, which is the um, kind of Android-based app collection that can run on cameras, um, or you can develop your own. So it gives you a lot of um, flexibility there. But I think from an integrator and an, an installer standpoint, they can now use this as a platform to go do some really cool things at the customer level. Um, you know, enhancing what you would typically do for security. Maybe a, a really good example is maybe um, a particular end user needs to identify things that we just don't have classifications for, right? Um, you know, something as simple in a retail environment was, you know, you want to count shopping carts or, or know where they are on your facility. That's not something a typical security camera can do. It's more of an operations side of things anyways. But now, you can develop an application that specifically does that. And the, uh, what we're bringing to market from a Bosch perspective is the platform that's powerful enough to do that. So maybe a really easy way to think about this is you take a, a traditional security camera and you marry it with what we consider to be a smartphone today, right? So you have this processing power that does way more than say a smartphone just makes phone calls. It does a lot more than that. It has a lot more capabilities. We're bringing that technology into the space of security Right. So now you can make your security camera, not only a security camera, but mu much, much more. And I do think it'll have the side effect of uh, you don't have to replace the hardware as often because you can now change what that camera can do. But the great thing for integrators, the great thing for, for dealers out there is they now can build services around doing this on the cameras. They don't necessarily have to send somebody out there to touch the camera to do this. Right. This can all be done remotely. Um, so I, I do think as this kind of as a service model uh, continues, this is a huge place where integrators can really capitalize on. That's man, the, the uh, flexibility in that, not having to always do a truck roll and 
you know, we're looking more and more to be able to do things remotely and more powerfully. So that is exciting. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the cost of a truck roll, you know, is probably the number one complaint we get from integrators, right? That's the last thing that they want to do. And I think the ability to make money and not roll the truck is extremely attractive to them and their end user, because I think it'll lower the end user's cost over time and provide more, more money to be made at the integrated level. Very uh, interesting platform, Sean. Um, as far as a vendor partner goes, you know, what do you think integrators should look for in that kind of support and relationship? Well, I mean, first of all, they need to treat everything like a partnership. And I'd love to say that in business that always happens, but it, it's not necessarily true, right? Um, so you want, I think, if I was an integrator, I want to look for vendor partners um, that are willing to work with me, right? That um, will give me information, you know, ahead of time so I can prepare my, uh, my company for what's coming in the next generation. Um, I also think that you want uh, them to provide a product that they can stand behind because like we just talked about rolling trucks is usually a costly endeavor you don't want to do it more than you have to especially from a, a low quality product right uh, and then beyond that somebody that's going to offer them this you know look into the future and look at ways that they can either make them more efficient you know they can make them more money you know they can make them more valuable to the end user i, I think that's really what uh, an integrator you know can kind of hone in on as a core business practice in a partnership and it's great that you're able to convey that through, you know, the magic of, of uh, video chat now so that you know, if a trade show doesn't happen, you can share that and reach out to them. Yeah, exactly. And, and we're doing a lot more, um, even on our side on support when, you know, typically somebody would call in or we needed to see somebody on site. Uh, we've enabled a lot more functionality like we're doing today. Um, even in addition, we now have a remote portal access into our cameras. Um, I had an integrator the other day uh, co comment to me saying that uh, without that remote portal access to set up the camera, uh, make sure that it was recording, doing all the work that he would normally do on site, that he would be out of business, right? So these functionalities that, you know, it used to be always the on-site, pulling the cables, connecting the cables, all that type of stuff. Um, but then even then, after that was done, there is a, what we call commissioning standpoint. And 90, 95% of that now can be done remotely. Right? You don't have to be on site. And in these times, um, that makes safety much higher, but it also is saving businesses, which is great. That's fantastic. Um, Sean, do you want to uh, highlight a couple of specific apps maybe that work on that platform? Or? Sure. You know, in, um, maybe this is a good point. Um, this is truly a third-party network of applications. So at this point, at least to my knowledge, we haven't released any of the apps that we've been working on development. These are all third-party company apps. Um, there are some pretty cool ones. There's one that um, I believe was released and is available um, that would detect face masks. So talk about a COVID response, right? So you could actually use a camera to understand if people walking by wearing face masks, if that's a particular policy at your facility. Um, another one that uh, we played with a little bit um, in the engineering lab before COVID happened was uh, there was one that was going to detect if somebody picks up a gun, like a handgun or something like that. Uh, it, it draws a stick figure of the um, uh, uh, person like an outline and then once it identifies that you touch a gun it's fine but it, and once you pick it up then that's the moment that it alarms um, so there's these really cool what would be incredibly difficult um, analytic algorithms all running on the camera they actually pull from the, the existing metadata and all the information that the camera generates anyways and then there's layering their application on top of it to get to the information they want and at an end user level to be honest with you you know even for me I think it's quite impressive what they're coming up with Wow, the intelligence being layered onto the cameras today, just amazing. Yeah, exactly. Well, Sean, that's all the time we have. Thank you so much for sharing that. Thanks, Scott, for giving me the opportunity to uh, reach out during uh, these uh, interesting times that we have, and uh, I hope to talk to you again soon. Outstanding. Thank you again, Sean. And I remind all the viewers uh, to look out for the video deep dive on security sales and integration. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Scott.